Now a new route is set and the driver can continue and enter the station of Falkenburg. Just before Falkenburg, we will encounter a temporary speed restriction of 50 km per hour. This temporary speed restriction, or TSR, is entered on the local control station of the RBC. For safety reasons, it must be entered twice within a certain time limit. On the LCS, the TSR is shown as a blue line on the track plan. Looking at the DMI, the driver knows he has to brake in order to reach the maximum allowed speed of 50 km per hour just before the TSR area. Therefore, a braking curve, which is always shown in yellow, is displayed on the DMI. The maximum allowed speed slowly decreases when approaching the TSR zone. On the left of the speed dial, a distance bar indicates the remaining distance. When the driver is in the temporary speed restriction zone, the screen will again display the maximum allowed speed of 50 km per hour with a white bar. The driver's speed is only 40 km per hour, well below the actual speed limit. When the end of the train leaves the TSR zone, the local maximum allowed speed becomes applicable again. But since the station of Falkenburg is nearby, a braking curve informs the driver of a new speed target. Exactly at the beginning of the point, the distance bar reads zero meters. In the station of Falkenburg, a shunting area is defined. When the driver requests for shunting, the RBC will check if the area is available. The shunting is granted by the RBC if there is not any reason to reject the request. The shunting mode is displayed by a locomotive on the DMI to inform the driver. The driver can now move his train freely within this shunting area. It is time to go back to Maastricht and finish our journey. The driver has closed the cabin, gone to the other end of the train and opened the cabin for the return journey. The EVC is in mode standby, indicated on the DMI as SB. Here he has to perform a new data entry procedure. Because he is in the ERTMS area, he has to tell the EVC that the train has to wake up in the level 2 mode. In this scenario, the EVC does not know the telephone in RBC number, so this has to be entered. As soon as the driver has entered the level 2 mode information, the EVC will call the RBC. By pushing the data button, another menu is opened, in which the driver is supposed to enter the train running number. Further train data is added and has to be validated. When the driver has finished the data entry procedure, the EVC goes to staff responsible mode, indicated by SR on the driver's display.
After the first group of Eurobelizes is read, the train knows its position and will send its first position report to the RBC. Then the driver will push the highlighted TAF button to confirm that the track ahead is clear. Now the RBC will send a full movement authority. When the driver exceeds the maximum allowed speed, the speed indicator will turn orange as a warning. If the speed is further increased, the EVC will automatically initialize an emergency brake intervention. When approaching the border of the ERTMS Level 2 area, the driver will be informed through the text message, Level 0 announced. On this part, due to a curve in the track, the maximum allowed speed is 80 km per hour. Therefore, the driver has to decrease his speed. Now we reach the border. The maximum speed outside the level 2 area is 40 km per hour, which has to be taken into account when the driver leaves the ERTMS level 2 area. After having crossed the border, the driver has to confirm this by pushing the button Level 0 Announced. This is the end of another successful run on the ERTMS test track on the line maastricht Herlen. We thank all parties involved and especially ProRail for their excellent cooperation. <laughs>